What is the climate issue with the Arizona voting public? Is it likely that this might actually become an issue this election? Yeah, before I would say February, March of this year, when the economy and coronavirus uh, really took over, uh, and then subsequently a lot of the social justice issues have popped up in the polls, climate was either the first or the second issue uh, with especially swing voters in Arizona. Uh, Arizona is an outdoor state. Uh, other than the really hot summer months, uh, people like to get out. They like to use the national parks, the state parks. Uh, and there's a sensitivity to the climate uh, that is uh, real there. And I think as an issue, it will come back uh, as, uh, as the pandemic recedes. Okay, Rick, thank you so much for being with us today. That's Bloomberg political contributor Rick Davis of Stone Court Capital. Now for a view from the ground, so to speak, we welcome Congressman Tom O'Halloran. He's Democrat of Arizona. Representative O'Halloran started his career in Chicago as a policeman, became a futures trader and a member of the Chicago Board of Trade, and then turned to politics as a third career when he retired to Arizona. So, Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. Give us your sense. I, I should point out you were a Republican for much of your life, and you switched about six years ago or so. Why? Well, first of all, good morning. And uh, why? Because uh, I was a Republican when I was in the legislature here. Uh, I, I just uh, got uh, to the point where, because of education, health care, and a number of other issues, that uh, I just could not work, uh, whether I was in the legislature or trying to work uh, out from outside, to get much momentum in, in addressing those problems in the state of Arizona. So give us your take on the on the voters in Arizona this election year, 48 days away from the election. What are they looking at? What are they likely to be swayed by? Well, first thing, we start voting on the, uh, the 7th of uh, October is when the ballots go out. Uh, we're a big state for right, uh, mail-in balloting. Uh, this state's going to be looking at the, a lot what other states are going to look at, the, uh, the uh, economy, uh, the uh, COVID issues. Uh, issues related to natural resources because of the uh, the size of the state and the amount of uh, I in my district I have all or parts of six national forests in the Grand Canyon and other uh, forested areas and uh, we're going to be looking at that water is a big issue in the southwestern United States and healthcare uh, and then healthcare and then healthcare so <laughs> it's it's going to be a an interesting process moving forward. And I think demographically, uh, this state is, uh, you know, we have a, my district has about 24% of the population is Native American uh, and another 20% Latino. And it's made up of uh, 41 small, small cities and towns and uh, a couple of other larger suburban type areas outside of Tucson and outside of, uh, well, Flagstaff, Arizona. So it, it's, it's uh, a, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a race that I think is trending towards the same direction it did in 18, uh, but we still have a long ways to go.